His testimony contradicted the official story. He said there were explosions in Building 7 and that the explosions happened before the Twin Towers came down. But has there been an autopsy? Mayor Bloomberg is not going to let the third light beam be installed at the next anniversary. Am I supposed to believe that Barry Jennings was assassinated for telling the commission what happened to him on 9-11? I don't know if they like the answers I gave. I can pretty, I, I can care less. I gave what I, my account of it, the truth, and that was it. Click on the sponsorship link at the Better Bad News website and show your support for truth and light. Because the truth about what happened here when Barry Jennings joined Bruce Ivins on a 9-11 casualty list that doesn't include their names. Better Bad News. Half true, more or less 100% of the time. Well, there you go. That's a little zen for you viewers out there who said, hey, who's a truther? Are you a truther? Why be a truther? Isn't truth good? What do you want for your grandchildren? Lies or truth? What do you want for your wife? Lies or truth? What do you want for your daughter? Lies or truth? Yeah. So stay tuned. We'll give you more truth. So here we go. This is IBM. Check it out. IBM has patented an application that allows traffic lights to turn car engines off and on supposedly to conserve fuel and prevent accidents. Now they're putting cameras up all over the roads and now you're going to have traffic lights that shut cars on and shut cars off. You think they'll use that just to save energy? <laughs> you know, keep on buying that because it was guys in caves, I'm sure. Okay. Um, how about this one? Here's some good news. In 2008, 39% of parents became educated about the dangers of vaccinations and refused or delayed them for their children. The percentage undoubtedly is higher now. This compares with just 22% in 2003. Why this is important is, do you remember the swine flu outbreak? The swine flu pandemic? Even if you listen to Sharon Radio right now, you can probably hear, you know, you can still get your free shot. Who benefited from that? And when I say the who, find out about the World Health Organization. They're under investigation for pushing the hoax. Gets better. This is uh, from the Washington Post and an article, you know, in their spy talk section. Former CIA officer admits that the agency created fake Osama bin Laden videos. Well, you wonder why he's left-handed, he's right-handed, he's put on weight, he's not the same, his nose is different. Gee, Osama bin Laden? Why is it that the Bush's vacation, you know, with the bin Ladens? What do you know about bin Laden? What do you know about this whole phony war on terror? created to what? To keep you in fear, to take away your rights. Hmm. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you read the bottom of the article, once again, they actually admit that, yeah, we made fake Bin Laden. They also said, oh, we're going to make fake, you know, um, Saddam ones. But when you know that they lie to you, when you just, kn you know, they lie to you constantly. The banker bailout, right, yeah, that bailed out the banks and took care of all the bad mortgages. Don't even get me going. So here we go. Check out the picture. The U.S. donates 475 tons of Monsanto hybrid seeds to Haiti. But local farmers are furious because they contain toxic fungicides and will not produce viable second-generation seeds. What is Monsanto up to? It's called a terminator gene. So that you're forced to buy your next seeds from Monsanto. Isn't this how they get people hooked on drugs? Here's your free drugs. But the important thing is, once again, the farmers know, because farmers in France know, because farmers in England know, farmers even here in the United States and Canada know that you don't want to use Monsanto seeds. Monsanto, genetically modified organisms. Yeah, revolving door with the FDA. Let's go into the Obama administration for a future show, and let's go into the Bush administration. Never changes, but you had hope that there would be change, didn't you? It's comedy. Haitian small farmers organized has committed to burning Monsanto seeds to preserve their native crops from contamination. Smart people. This is out of the Huffington Post. Don't believe me. And here's a little clip for you. This is, um, I like this, and I'm going to use this a couple times, but I want you to enjoy it. This is Satan Goes on Vacation. Okie dokie. Thanks for joining me on such short notice, gentlemen. Just so we're on the same page, I'm looking for someone to fill in for me while I go on vacation. And based on your resumes, you're definitely the best of the best, or shall I say the worst of the worst. <laughs> well, let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves. My name, of course, is Satan. I'm the CEO of Hell. 
Oh, I guess I'll go first. I'm Scott Silverman, CEO of Positive ID. I'm hoping to spread pestilence and, of course, human microchips for everyone. <laughs> um, hello. Lloyd Blankfein from Goldman Sachs, sometimes known as Golden Slacks. Boom! <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm here to spread evil, which on Wall Street we usually refer to as short-selling. By the way, I intend to short-sell evil, too. I dare you to figure that one out. Boom! Bill Swanson, defense contractor. Raytheon, I manufacture the very ship. Cheerio! I'm Hugh Grant from Monsanto. Bollocks! I'm here for the role of starvation and or famine. Why the fakey accent? You're not the actor, Hugh Grant. You're a totally different person who happens to have the same name. Yes, I know. So, Mr. Silverman, how do you- Ouch! Gotcha! <laughs> you injected me with a microchip! I did! Feel safer? Uh, Cheryl, bring me some Neosporin. Silverman just injected a microchip into me, uh, without asking. It's, it's really looking infected and weird and, uh, uh, yep, yep, there's definitely a lump on my left nut. Hello? Yeah, issue derivatives based on Satan's good health. Then short sell the crap out of them. Shh, he's about to get cancer. ka -ching! You guys are super douchey. Yes, we are. Pip-pip, I say. Would anyone like a mutant tomato before I head topside to crush me some farmers between me bullocks and butt cheeks, bum cheeks? I just realized something, Mr. Satan. You need a monkey in your pants, just like mine. <laughs> Everyone out! Out! Jeebus. You guys are worse than me, and I'm Satan. Cheryl, send in the guys from IBM, WellPoint, Philip Morris, and BP. How did you like the Monsanto guy? My favorite was Goldman Sachs. Short him! We'll learn about naked shorts on another show. But that was pretty good, huh? All right, here we go. Um, oh, let's go with, um, hmm. Check out the picture. For what it is, you know, to be the first time ever in England, an audience of university students, this is good, this is at Oxford, by the way, decisively rejected the notion that global warming is or could become a global crisis. This is important. They didn't put this on your news, did they? Okay, but they actually had a debate. And I thought it was interesting. This occurred in a debate in the historic Oxford Union Society and is an encouraging sign of resistance to propaganda. Once again, we have to remember, Al Gore, he created the Internet, right? NAFTA, don't forget that. What happened to your jobs? How's everything on the border these days? But it gets better when you look at was Al Gore, Bernie Madoff. That's right, he made off of your money, right? A lot of Jewish people's money, okay? But who else? Goldman Sachs. They created this carbon credit exchange here in the United States. It's in Chicago. You think I'm lying? Where did Obama come from? But it gets better because who's doing the one in Europe but the House of Rothschild? Boy, these globalist bankers, they'll tax you to death, won't they? And they'll use the guys with the badge and the guns and the local police to tax you to do it. So anyway, I know you wouldn't believe me. You had to see it for yourself. Okay, you'll love this one. Check it out. It's not me. This is out of uh, Digital Journal. Scientists warn that full-body airport scanners, remember the underwear bomber on Christmas, once again, more fake terror. He was put on the plane by the State Department. But anyway, the airport scanners pose a high risk of skin cancer especially for children. The radiation level is 20 times greater than official estimates. Don't believe me. Do your own diligence. Here we go. This one I thought was good because it really shows good propaganda. And this, is, um, this reminds me of Winston Smith in 1984, where he changed the news. But Canadian government now monitors political comments. Gee, they got nothing else to do with their tax money up in Canada but to hire people to look at political comments in online chat rooms and respond with rebuttals when it feels the comments are incorrect. Well, you think they did it first? No way. Back in the days of Rumsfeld, that's right with the Bush days, okay, we spent $1.6 billion a year doing what? The same thing. Don't believe me. This is from the National Archives. Okay, so here we are taking your tax money to what? Now, what's next on the attack? They'll be attacking free speech. Shows like this, because I might tell you something that they don't agree with. And for you viewers, I might say something that you don't agree with. Why don't you check out for yourself? Think for yourself. Try that for yourself, maybe for your children, OK? Here we go. This one's a good news, more good news for you. And this is Maine. Maine's GOP chooses to uphold the Constitution and adopts a platform that causes collectivists to come unglued. 
It even supports state sovereignty. Read that Bill of Rights. What's number 10? Come on, find out about it, okay? And abolishing the Federal Reserve. Yes! These are great Americans we're talking about, okay?